What's up guys? Remember last time I said that I need a small internal combustion engine for experiments? The main idea is to make a hydrogen booster for internal combustion engine. Just imagine, you push the button and the engine accelerates rapidly, but only for a few seconds. So, who needs such a thing? Uh, let us think. Maybe all of us? The first in line is my friend Vyacheslav, who is the racer. And the other guy is the truck company who wants to install it on the trucks to help them go in the mountains. But first of all, I need a small combustion engine for experiments. So, I need a low power combustion engine, but if there are also wheels with it, it will be great. Also, this engine has to be easy accessible and also light enough so I can rise it and lower it to my lap. First, I wanted to take a motorboat, but it's break out from under the feet without any booster. Also, motorboat has only one wheel drive of four, so it's gonna sleep, and it also has a bigger turning radius than some trucks have. My Suzuki is too heavy. And then I've got some presents from sponsors. 140 cubic centimeter speed bike! It's such a small motorcycle for schoolboys, so truck company has to wait for a little, because Alex has a new engine! Ta-da! That's everything I wanted to get! The smaller the engine, the simpler it is to make a hydrogen booster for it. 140 cubic centimeters is perfect, but the main thing, look at the engine! In the cars, for example, it's hard to accept the engine, but this engine is like a girl from Tinder, fully opened and ready for experiments. An experiment with carburetor, plug the HHO tubes directly to it, and no need to disassemble anything. The frame doesn't close anything, it seemed to me open work, but it's strong enough and it, I didn't hear that somebody broke it. And remember the third point, fully fueled, it weighs only 75 kg, so you can easily take it in one hand and rise it on the second floor using just the stairs. Now you can see what the CrossFit in Russia means. Actually, that is old school Russian workout method without any steroids, so just make it every morning. Engine is cooled not only by the air, but with the liquid too. This awesome Chinese guy somehow plugged the mini radiator there. So we're gonna look how cool is it with the hydrogen fuel. The plastic doesn't crash, but it's bent and straightened up. So that the way plastic must behave, but not like in a bulk motors when the plastic crash even when you think about off-road. Here we have electric starter and a kick starter too. So if you somehow load the battery, you can just kick it down and start the engine. But how can we discharge the battery on a pit bag? Yes, because of the lamp. Definitely glue the black tape on it, because that's the most clever thing you can do. Tinted headlights, 4-speed gearbox and the neutral is on the bottom. Not between the first and the second one, like on a motorcycle, but on the bottom. It takes time to learn it. And some cool bonuses. The cap on the key so that the lock doesn't thrust. Tachometer with the hours of run. Thick and resilient seat. 428 chain with the dampers, but still can fly out. Tate and footboard rotary fold when falling. Exhaust tube on reliable bracket and not on a welded hinges as it usually looks like. So the only wish is to sit and ride. I sit here in the same old house, the same old rooms, the same old doubts, creeping into everything I do. If I could climb, if I could choose, I know I'd be on top with you.
На этой высоте я выходил, на этой высоте я перегрелся, поэтому будем форсировать движок. You know the interesting thing? I ride on the same place on this speed bike and 200 bolt motors and 400 DRZ. And if you're talking about light off road, there is no difference between them. The only reason is the weight. You can just grab and pull the motorcycle, but the pit bike is light enough to carry it from a tree, for example. If you have some places around with light off road, pit bike is a great thing to buy. You'll definitely enjoy the power and ease of control. By the way, it's cool when the feet always reach the ground, it's comfortable making turns. Weight restrictions. Kayo manufacturer said that 100 kilos is the maximum weight, but actually if you have more than 90 kilos and your height is more than 180 centimeters, it won't be comfortable for you to drive. The shock absorbers will be punched on each pit, so only the seat rides, pit bike, seat rides. What I'm gonna do next, next is the real fun. I'm gonna connect all the hydrogen iron man technologies in this pit bike for the engine with the HHO gas, make a new electrolyzer kit and show it all to you in the next videos. It's gonna be fun and informative as usual, so click the likes, share this video and become a sponsor, cause it's really easy. So welcome on board! Right.